So, you know, recently the FDA, um, it's actually larger than the FDA, you know, the, the government started, um, passed into law the 21st Century Cures right. Act. Uh, that was around January of this mm -hmm. year, I think. And it's a, you know, it's a lot in there. Right. One of the areas that's talked about is, the, you know, the use of real-world evidence in yep. decision-making by the FDA. Obviously, there's more than that in the 21st Century Cures Act, but to me, that's especially intriguing, the idea of moving away from the more classical clinical trial model that we've seen for many years now to the incorporation of other data into the decision-making right. of the right. FDA. Right. No, it's a very important topic that lots of people are thinking about. Let me just start by saying when we, when we measure value, we have to find data someplace. Sometimes it comes from randomized clinical trials, but inevitably there are questions about what happens after the trial ends. What happens to populations who are not exactly like those in the trials? And that's where real-world evidence comes in. Real-world data is how we understand what happens with actual behavior. So real-world data can be helpful in many ways. One, just understanding practice patterns out in the real world. Two, understanding safety problems that emerge after trials end. Most of what we know about safety comes from real-world data. Um, and three, it's more challenging, how well products actually work in the real world as opposed to how well they work in the randomized trials. But I think there's been a long-standing recognition that real-world data will complement, supplement what we know from randomized trials. And now we have legislation, the 21st Century Cure Act, that's telling the FDA we want you guys to think about how you can incorporate this information into your, your decision-making, your FDA decision-making for approvals of new products, for approvals of extensions of products, for mm -hmm. new indications of products. I don't think we yet know exactly what the FDA will do, but they've had some papers that have come out that talk about the importance of real-world data. They uh, make a point of saying that real-world data is not uh, contingent on the design. That is, that is, doesn't matter if it's randomized trials or yeah. observational data. What matters is, is, is it reflecting real-world behavior? So I think that's very positive and healthy with many challenges to come, but there are many, many researchers in academia and in industry and elsewhere who are collecting real-world data, helping us to understand all of this and um, you know, informing decisions. I mean, these are exciting times. Exciting times.